Today, I am going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is The Baby and the Bush Birth of Moses and the Burning Bush Today's the title is A Baby and a Bush Exodus 1 Verse 1 6 to 2 and 15 and verse 3 yes anyway Egypt was filled with Israel the new power was afraid that the Israel would become too powerful, so he made them slaves and treated, treated them very badly. So, Egypt. In the Egypt, there were many Israels. Do you know why there, there is Israel in Egypt? I'll tell you. They're in Egypt because Joseph was taking Israel to Egypt. But the new Paro didn't know. Like, and forgot Joseph, what Joseph has done for Egypt. So, and Paro was very afraid that because there were many Israels in Egypt. <coughs> there were king. I think they will be very that all the baby is in Israel's boys had to kill to be killed. What woman put her baby in a basket and hide him by the river edge? His sister watched him. So the baby and the is in the Egypt has the baby boy has had to die. But one woman didn't want the baby killed. So one woman put her baby in a basket and his her sister watched. So her mother is praying, right? Question that Paro made the Israel slave because he saw where they were going to be coming to weak? No. He made them slaves because there were so many and they were powerful. Paro's daughter was the bad thing by the river. She found a baby and decided to keep him. <coughs> uh, yeah. His sister offered their mother's help to care 
for him. Pharaoh's daughter named him Moses. So suddenly, when when Pharaoh's daughter was, but then he saw the baby, and his sisters said, told to the Pharaoh's daughter that. Her mother can help him. <laughs> Moses grew up one day. He saw an Egyptian beating an Israel. Moses killed the Egyptian. Then he fell to Midian and was a shepherd for forty years. So Moses knew that he was an Israel, and one day he saw someone is. Was beating Israel, so he have killed. <laughs> Moses was watching his sheep on Mount Horeb. Horeb. The voice of God spoke. From a burning bush, my people are suffering. <coughs> Moses, I have chosen you to free them. I can't, Moses cried. I will help you. God promised. Throw, throw down your staff, Moses did. It turned into a snake. When he picked it up again, it was a staff again. Wow. <laughs> Question: How did God speak to Moses? Number one, the burning bush. And also, today's the title was "Burning." Oh, sorry, I forgot. Put your hand in your clock. God said, Moses did. He looked. It was covered with Jesus. When he did it again, it was healed. Show Paro that God said. Says, I will give you the worlds, worlds, worlds. God said, your brother Aaron can help you. So Moses went to tell Paro to set the Israel free. You can see Aaron there. Question: God promised to help Moses when he went to tell went to tell Paro to let the Israel go. True. And today we're going to do the song "Fruit of the Spirit." Okay. 
Okay, one, two, three. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Actually, it's in self-control. We do like this or like this. Yes, today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? I really enjoyed it. Then bye. Let's see you next time.